These lovely looking things in front of me represent our five favorite open face helmets for 2022. They all do things ever so slightly differently. I will drop links in the description if you want to check out any of these in greater detail. But without any further ado, let's begin. Now before I start, let me say I recognize not everybody gets on with an open face helmet, but they certainly do have their own strengths and benefits. One of the big ones is the feeling of freedom that you'll get whilst wearing a helmet like this. Obviously you've got that big opening on the front there, so you've got loads of visibility. They can help it feel a little bit less claustrophobic than some full faced helmets. Obviously you've got great airflow through there as well. They also feel lightweight by and large, and you can customize them, which really can help if like me, you think that open faced helmets don't necessarily suit your face because you've got quite a long face. Clearly I was the obvious choice to review these. You can help yourself a little bit with the accessories you couple this with. You'll notice a few of them have these snaps on the front there for attaching a peak or a visor. You can use goggles whilst you're wearing them, a neck tube or balaclava. All of these things help break up your face shape and make them look a little bit better. Also a little bit more unique or personalized and make them stand out. I will drop links to a few of these things in the description if you want to check out any of them for yourself. Let's start then with the Jetson 2 on my right hand side. Lovely, simple looking helmet. We have this in six different colorways, quite simple designs, but it changes the price ever so slightly, just 10 pounds actually with that one, but it's still very affordable. 169 pounds as a base price, 179 pounds for the slightly more extravagant versions like the highway graphic we have here. They use a fiberglass shell construction. It should be fairly obvious, but all of these helmets pass ECE safety approval. They make it in four different shell sizes, which is really good because it means that the outer shell more closely matches the size of the helmet that you buy. The less shell sizes they offer it in, the more significant or obvious those changes are when they actually do happen. If you have more shell sizes, it means that you can get away with a slightly smaller looking helmet, which usually is the look that people are going for. The rest of the helmet is fairly simple. You have these snaps on the front there. It actually comes with a peak, which you can attach if you want to. Don't need to if you don't want to. You can also couple this with goggles or a visor if you prefer that look. It uses a double D-ring closure around your neck and it has removable cheek pieces if you need to take them out and clean them. I love the retro styling. It's a really simple, really clean looking, very affordable helmet. Definitely worth your attention. Next up is a stalwart in this class. You will definitely have come across this helmet before. It's the Bell Custom 500. Really, really popular. We couldn't not include this. We have a new graphic here. This is the Riff graphic in sand and yellow, and it comes in at £119.99. So despite its popularity and being one of the originals, it is actually the most affordable of the bunch I'll show you. This also uses a fiberglass shell construction. They actually make that shell in five different sizes. So the outer shell definitely matches the size that you're buying. Like I said before, that allows them to get away with a slightly smaller look to the outside. Again, you have removable cheek pieces, which is useful. You've got a comfortable suede liner on the inside. It also uses a double D ring closure system. And you have these snaps on the forehead there for attaching a peak or a visor if you want. Notably, it has a round profile and look to the outside. I also find them to have somewhat of a round fit. I won't go into too much detail about the sizing. You can find the size guide on our website, but I always found with these ones, if you have a slightly longer head, then you might want to look elsewhere. For everybody else, they'll be absolutely fine. There's a really nice classic look to this helmet. They also offer it in lots of great colorways. And like I say, that price point is very attractive. Next up, this gorgeous looking thing in the middle is the Hedden Hedonist. Featured in Macadamia is actually the colorway we have here, which sounds delicious. It also looks really, really nice. Now, a lot of helmet brands will offer a base or standard version of their helmet, and then they'll offer a more premium version. Hedden starts at premium 
and build from there. There's such a nice finish to these. Now, because of that, they do have a higher price tag. This one starts at £345 and builds from there. But like I say, the outside has such a nice finish to it. The shell they actually use is a carbon fiberglass composite. It's really lightweight. That's gonna be one of the big strengths of this. It's actually comfortably the lightest of the helmets I have in front of me. They make it in three different shell sizes. It's actually the large that I have here. The rest of these helmets are all a medium and that was on purpose because you will find with these, they definitely fit slightly on the smaller side. That's certainly true of everyone we tried it on with in the office. You will notice the press studs or the snaps on the front there for attaching a visor and they've got loads of different options where that's concerned as well. They offer this helmet in loads of different colorways. They also do some unique or one-offs with a limited run on them. They couple with things like the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride, for example. So you'll find lots of different options for these, all of them finished beautifully. You can see calfskin leather around the front there that ages and patinas nicely the longer you own it. You've got this really soft suede liner on the inside and they're very comfortable on. If you're looking for an elegant design, if you want to look distinguished whilst you're on the bike, this is definitely a helmet to check out. Next up, we have the DMD Vintage, and if I'm being completely honest, it's probably my favorite of the bunch, based solely on the fact that it suits my face a little bit more. As I mentioned, I sometimes struggle to find an open face helmet that suits me, and my face definitely benefits from a lower profile shell, a smaller looking helmet, which of course, the DMD is. Now they use a fiberglass shell and despite the fact they only make it in two different shell sizes, it still looks universally a little bit smaller than the rest of its competition. As I mentioned, these are mediums on the table with the exception of the head and you can tell just by looking at it that it does look slightly smaller. I think a lot of that is down to the profile. To me, it has a slightly flatter top on it maybe less of a round fit. And when I've been recommending this to people in the past, if you find you have a slightly longer fit to your head, you might find this one a slightly more comfortable fit. The rest of the helmet is business as usual. You have these snaps on the front for attaching a visor if you want to. You have a removable and washable liner on the inside, which is useful. And they offer it in loads of different colorways, styles, and finishes. I would probably say the most extensive of the helmets we have here. They also have a premium line. How rude of me, I didn't say the price of this. They start at 149 pounds. They have this version here is 175 pounds, but the more extravagant the graphic, the greater the price. Or up to 299 pounds, actually, if you want to go for their premium Oro line, which are a really nice finish to them. They use things like Italian leather around the areas. You'll see rubber there on the rim and a Shalimar liner on the inside, but they're very plush looking. If you're looking for a stylish, lightweight, and slim profile helmet, this is definitely worth checking out. Last but by no means least, we have the Rogue Sundown on my left, and this one stands out from the rest of the crowd for a very obvious reason. Obviously it has that internal visor, which you can have down, but if you don't want to use it, you can always fold it up and use the helmet with goggles if you prefer that option. It means that it gets away without having those snaps on the front, which means it has a cleaner look to the front of this helmet. It does also mean though that it is ever so slightly larger, although it still is relatively slim line, and it's also slightly heavier, but still very comfortable on. They use a fiberglass shell construction. They offer it in two different shell sizes. And on the inside, you have a removable and washable fleece liner. You also have a quick release strap around your neck for closing it, as opposed to the double D-ring fastener you'll find in the rest of these helmets. Some people find that fiddly, so if you do find that a fiddly closure system around your neck, then this might be useful for you. We have it at the minute in three different color variants, starting at 209 pounds, or for the lightning graphic you can see here, still a very respectable 219 pounds. If you're drawn to this style of helmet and the functionality of having that drop down visor, but you don't necessarily like the look of this, then maybe you'll want to check out the Shoei JO instead. Those then are our five favorite open face helmets for 2022. I will drop links to all of these in the description down below if you want to check them out in greater detail. You'll also find the sizing guide on our website. Let us know if you feel like we've missed out on any of your favorites in the comment section down below. And for more of the world's finest riding gear, stay tuned to Open Rider. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.